we have which is essentially your v storage backup server you are and you have got your in vmware infrastructure on the left as point 1 we are generating the snapshot of your vms which are your snaps the full backups are backed up via the central backup server which can be a physical machine or a virtual machine the backup depending on what type of backup has been selected it would be a full backup wherein all the blocks have been picked up it would be a incremental backup wherein only the change blocks are been picked using CBT after this backups have been completed the client backups will add, also add up additional control VM information this is an additional information which is required for recreating the VMs in case of a restore so this information will also be backed up and finally once the entire process completes the snapshot is been deleted from the VMware infrastructure coming to slide number 17 we have got uh, since this uh, VMware environments would have multiple VMs running in the infrastructure and if the VMs are large in size you may end up with having running the backups for a period which is more than your backup window hence in this environment we we would not be having any restricted backup window but you can definitely plan out your backups in uh, following some different models the first model which we have got is a batched pools wherein we run the full VMs full backups on the weekends this backups can run up run continuously one after the other and this we run it over the weekends whereas on the weekdays we run the incremental backups this method can help you in performing uh, backups regular backups for your VMware infrastructure coming to slide number 18 we have got a rotating fulls by ESX host in this backup methodology we select an in an ESX server for as a candidate for running a full backup all the VMs residing on this on this ESX host are are the candidates for full VM backups and they will be running full VM backup the other ESX servers would be having incremental backups run on the next backup schedule we will have the second ESX server running the full backups whereas the other two would be running incremental backups and so on and so forth it happens for each ESX server the third method which we have which we can use here is rotating fulls by VM in this in this setup what we do is we select the VMs which are the candidates for full backup for a particular day and the rest VMs would be the increment having the incremental backup for that day this this VMs are selected a different VMs are selected on a daily basis for full backups and the rest are selected for incremental backups hence this method is called as rotating fulls by VM this method is very much useful in case when your VMware environments have got vMotion enabled wherein the VMs move across the ESX servers as a part of a cluster in this case we don't rely on the ESX host and hence it can the VMs can VMs can be backed up irrespective of which ESX host they are contained in. Slide number 20. We are looking at vStorage APIs for data protection recovery. We have done these backups for all my VMs. All the backups have been done, and there is a need for performing a restore. As a first step, I would be once I initiate a restore from my client the VM image or the VM machine is been created into one of the ESX host this is uh, the host we can select which ESX host we want to restore this guest machine into we can also select which data store we want to have this VM to be restored into and once this VM is created the VMDK is brought back from the TSM server backup and restored into the into the infrastructure and the guest machine is now ready for for, for, for the backups okay.
coming to the next slide, slide number 21, we have got our backups. In the earlier slide, we saw how we could restore a full VM, complete VM from the backups. In this slide, we are looking at how do we use the data protection for VMware recovery agent and we perform a recovery. The first slide, the slide number 21, we are performing a file level recovery. So for this process, we need to be a VMware guest user. We are in the guest machine. We launch the Windows or Linux data protection for VMware restore agent. This restore agent needs to be installed inside each guest machine in this process. We enter the TSM node name for authentication with the TSM server into this tool, the tool which we are seeing in blue on the left. We select the VM, the recovery point, and the disk which we need to, from where we want to do the restore. We select the partition, found, and we select the partition. Once we have done with this, the volume is presented to the local system as an individual disks, individual disk a separate disk which has been mounted. From the disk I can do I can browse and I can select the file which I need to restore and it is just a file copy. So the disk is now visible into your VMware guest in your virtual machine and you can simply restore the file. For this functionality to, uh, to run you need to have the data protection for VMware agent installed inside the guest VMs. Slide number 22. We are trying to do a centralized file recovery from MySQL mount. In this scenario, we need, uh, this, this, we need to be uh, via a central admin, a VMware admin. This central admin will launch the Windows data protection for VMware restore agent. It would run the similar process. However, it will enter the CSM node name and authentication. It will select the VM recovery point and disk. And then you have to select another option, which is select mount iSCSI target and expose this VM, expose to the disks or the partition to the guest VM via iSCSI. Once this is visible, you can do a file copy. The individual guest, the, uh, the VMware guest user can just do a file copy by just invoking the SCSI initiator to access the iSCSI target. So in this method, we don't install the data protection for VMware on each and every guest machine. Rather, it is in just installed on one of the machines, which will be typically our vStorage backup server. Slide number 23, we are looking at self-service install restore of volume. In this, in this scenario, we are still, uh, we are, we would be accessing the VMs as a VM guest user. We launch the agent. It's similar to what we saw on slide 21. We enter the node name and uh, for the authentication. We select the VM recovery point and disk. We select instant restore. In this case, the, the disk or the partition which has been selected is restored into the guest with on-demand access. It simply just restores the disk from inside the guest. The guest disk is overwritten. For this method, you need you need your, your agent to be deployed on your guest machines. And to run this process, especially for, Win, uh, for Linux clients, you need to install this package as well as the data operation for VMware recovery agent needs to 